It's less than uh, two minutes away right now from launching the Space Shuttle Challenger and Space Lab 2. Uh, we are going through a second delay that they had today because of a computer problem. Let's switch now live to uh, the Kennedy Space Center where the uh, shuttle is sitting on the pad. And uh, Rick Chappell, they have uh, just swung away and finished all the uh, topping off of the uh, fuel levels. At right, that's minute, the beanie cap that you see there that keeps uh, the ice off the top of the tank. Start. If, if the tank is so cold, if it accumulates water vapor, it gets big chunks of ice on it. So that device that just moved back is to prevent that. The delay that we had this afternoon, will it cause any problem as far as the science that's going on? The science window, they said they felt good about it up to about 521, 523 this afternoon. So we're okay on that. And if they had gone past uh, one about counting. 520 this Down afternoon, we would have had to rethink actually going with the launch because of the loss of data. That's right. The orbiter could support a launch up till 6.30. The scientists would have had to talk about it, NASA management, had they slipped past 5.23. The delay this afternoon was uh, a gyroscope in one of the uh, booster rockets that uh, malfunctioned, and they tried to restart and reset their computers, and uh, they did that, oh, I guess about an hour ago. They actually got the computers up and going and decided to reset for the launch at 5 o'clock. They have uh, just announced that uh, they have a go for auto sequence start. Let's uh, go down to the uh, voice of mission control for the uh, last 30 seconds of the launch. Everything is go. T minus 12. T minus 10. We have go for engine start. T minus 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition and liftoff. We have liftoff of Challenger and Space Lab 2. The shuttle has cleared the tower. Tower clear. Roll program initiated. Houston now controlling. They'll be throttling down to 65% uh, throttles on their main engines. Now throttling down. Now at uh, 65 percent. Velocity now 1,000 uh, feet per second. Distance downrange to nautical miles, altitude uh, 4.1. Challenger Houston, your go at throttle up. Okay. Engines now back up to 104 percent. Three good APUs, three good fuel cells on Challenger. One minute, 30 seconds. Velocity now 3,200 feet per second. The uh, rate of climb 2,000 feet per second. In just a few seconds, you'll see the uh, solid rocket separate uh, from the orbiter. Uh, with the amazing cameras that NASA has, you can you can see uh, several miles out. There they go. There they go. Solids have a uh, parachute in the nose, so they'll fall away and then come back, be picked up later on today and brought back and used again. It's probably one of the better pictures uh, we've ever seen of the actual separation of the, of the solid rockets. Very good and very stable. With a very, it's a tremendous lens on the camera. to get, Look at that. You can see them moving away from the vehicle. So after uh, an aborted launch 17 days ago, a temporary hold put on this afternoon after a problem with one of the gyroscopes. The Space Shuttle Challenger and Space Lab 2 is on its way to space for a week-long science mission. We, of course, uh, will continue our coverage of the flight of Challenger throughout the mission, as always, here on CNN. But right now, stay tuned for Newswatch. Velocity now 5,100 feet per second. The rate of climb 1,400 feet per second. Challenger Houston, two-engine tower capability. That call tells the crew they have the capability to make a Zaragoza Spain uh, transatlantic abort should one engine fail. Can you turn the
your piece down. Three minutes, 16 seconds. T minus 10. We have go for engine start. T minus five, five four, four, three, three two, two, one. Ignition and liftoff. We have liftoff of Challenger. The Space Shuttle Challenger, about three minutes, 45 seconds ago, blasted off from Cape Canaveral. It's now headed into orbit. Liftoff, as was mentioned during our coverage of the uh, blastoff, had been delayed for more than uh, 90 minutes because of technical problems. Challenger's last attempt at liftoff 17 days ago was also delayed because of technical difficulties. I'm Lou Waters in Atlanta. We'll have more on today's successful launch later on Newswatch. And I'm Mary Alice Williams. Today, they were able to get a very good picture of it. That problem that they had, uh, Tom, by the way, will cause a, somewhat of a loss of some of the science data that they wanted. They wanted to get off exactly at 3.23 p.m. Eastern time in order to get at the right position to see the sun and the earth when they wanted to. Look at uh, certain star formations and so on. That's right. A lot of astronomy on this mission, as well, as well as some observations of the Earth's atmosphere. Mostly a science mission, and also to find out whether certain platforms that are part of the space lab configuration can be aimed uh, exactly right in order to focus in on a particular star, a particular portion of the sun. And that'll be very important for future scientific missions. So this time they'll be just looking to see if those things work, as well as trying them out for some specific experiments. Robert Bazell, thank you very much down there in the Florida sunshine. This uh, Space Shuttle Challenger is due to arrive at Edwards Air Force Base in California one week from today at about 4.12 in the afternoon. It'll be landing at the big dry lake bed out there. And uh, for those of you who wonder about that crew on board, there are seven men altogether and 20 college degrees between them. So they probably are academically qualified. We'll have additional details on this launch and the future of the space program tonight on NBC Nightly News and a good deal of other news as well. For now, I'm Tom Brokaw, NBC News, New York. Lou, the problem occurred uh, just uh, as they were preparing to throttle down the engines. Uh, Rick Chappell, a NASA scientist, is with us. Rick, they lost one of the three engines on the shuttle. Right. The How serious is that? The center engine, they said, was shut down. The other two engines were running fine at 104%. They, will, they should just run the other engines uh, longer to make up for the center engine, but I can't tell yet. They're, it's happening right now. They say that, that they're, they're going into an actual orbit, which will be lower than the one that they had planned for, which uh, could possibly mean that uh, some, if not all, of the scientific uh, experiments that were planned for Challenger and Space Lab 3 may not take place. They could possibly return after uh, uh, a couple of orbits uh, around the Earth uh, back to uh, landing one of the emergency landing sites in, in Spain or somewhere No, else. I think we're past, we're past the emergency landing site thing. Now, the, the, the code for this is abort to orbit, which says you've got enough capability to get to orbit, so you go to orbit, and that's what they're doing. They're now adjusting the ohms burns. The ohms are the orbital maneuvering system. The engines that are up here on the orbiter that actually can, can adjust its orbit once it's there. So we'll have to see. Let's turn the model around here so we can show you uh, exactly what is taking place now as uh, Challenger is, is moving into space. Okay, the, the center engine went down during ascent. That's this engine. The other two engines, main engines, are running fine at 104%. It will go into orbit. Once in orbit, it uses the engines that are up here, these two orbital maneuvering system engines that can then continue to adjust the orbit once they're in orbit. Is it possible for them to reach a full orbit with uh, only two of the three engines? I believe so, and that's what they're looking at now. They're, they're doing calculations right now that, that will say what, how they should fire the Ohm's engines, how much thrust the Ohm's engines need to put in in order to achieve orbit, the, uh, the closest orbit. Yeah, and they're, they're saying now, they're still looking at things now, trying to determine exactly what the orbit capability is. It will be in orbit question of what orbit and how does that match what they need. Okay, so a problem has developed on the flight of Challenger Space Lab 2 a few moments after liftoff. The center engine on the Challenger shut down and they are now running on two engines and uh, modifying uh, very quickly what they plan to do uh, after they've lost one of the main engines on the Space Shuttle Challenger. We, of course, will keep you up to date here on CNN uh, throughout the mission and uh, if any situation develops, we will get back to you as soon as we can. Uh, Dr. Chappell, any idea what might have caused that engine to fail? No ideas yet. They, the data that come down as the engine runs should give the engineers an idea of what's happened, but as right now, they don't know. Okay. And as I mentioned, it's developing right now. We'll keep you posted on the uh, flight of the Challenger. Now